right, folks, but you know, idiot, we are back. Link in case on Facebook. We are on case 50, where chapter 3, where Amy has gotten stung and turned into a, into a mindless zombie slash robot. Thank you guys all for liking and commenting. Um, we've had one or two donations, so you guys have seen the lucky video and have been able to figure out what uh, the news is. So, it'll be kind of cool. So... Hey, it's on the news. You're not going to believe this. We don't know exactly what's happening here. There have been reports throughout the day of people being stung and their eyes beginning to glow red. What the heck? Those people. Their eyes are glowing red. Exactly like Levine. You're right, Ace. Levine kept talking about an evil scheme to control people through nanobots. Could this be it? Ow. Something just stung me. Oh gosh, I don't feel so good. Ace, what? What's happening to me? I heard shouting. Is everything all right? Ace, what's wrong with Amy? What's wrong with her eyes? Ace, Ace. Oh great, the kids lost it. Ace, what's going on here? What do you mean someone is attacking people with nanobots? Where are the nanobots anyways? Oh, just start back from the beginning, please. A few tense minutes later. So what you're saying is there's a psycho out there using microscopic robots to make people go crazy, or worse, kill them? Oh, well, we can't let that happen, Ace. Amy's out of order. But I'll help you sort out this mess if that's the last thing I do. Just tell me where we should go and I'll follow. You wanna have another look at the crime scene? Good idea. Hey, wait a minute, you guys just can't leave like that. You need protection. Nanobots are microscopic. They're not like bugs that you can swat away. Ace, I'll secure the station as much as possible, but you can go outside without this special suit. Thanks, Hannah. Come on, Ace. Let's suit up and go to the factory. Nice. Program to kill. That's crazy. Oh, that must be the new thing. Okay, scraps of metal. Spiral. Banana peel. Blue crate. Magic cube. Syringe. Right here. Oh, it's where they inject people. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm down with that. Yes, experience. Always want experience. I want to be able to get to level 400. I sure hope these suits will keep the nanobots at base, but even if they do, let's hurry. You think you can, these pieces of metals may be a clue? We'll get cracking with the puzzle solving. If you think that there's something useful out of that box of electronic junk, hurry up and dive in. This syringe was near you when you found the body. Whoever touched it might have been involved in the murder. Time to dust for prints, Ace. Getting tense, man. Danger. Uh -oh. What the heck is this? Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, that metal container had nanobots inside. Look, it's written on the top. Well, it's a good thing we have these suits on. What does the rest of the message say? Bob, danger, nanobots inside, and it's signed by a certain Aphrodite. You say you know this Aphrodite chick? And she's not a chick, she's a robot? I knew it, robots are always up to no good. I'll bet you anything she'll release the nanobots from this container. Let's go talk to Aphrodite. Oh, she actually has an oil spill on her. Interesting. Well, we always thought that it would be a robot that that did all the bad stuff, so. <laughs> What's that magazine you found on the electronic junk? Scientific hipster? Hey, I recognize that guy on the cover. He's a tech genius, David Rosenberg. Why'd the magazine editors put horns on him? What's the headline? Gone to the dark side, selling nanobots to dictatorships. You think you know which dictatorship David was wanting to sell nanobots to? Well, let's go bust his chops then. That's not good. Quick. 
You have perfect the fingerprints on that empty syringe from that robot factory. Fantastic. Let's get these to hand a stack. Yes, let's do it. Alright, what's up, Afro? Listen up, you walking microwave. Marshall Ace found your nanobot container. Why'd you break in? Were you, were you behind the living instead? No, I didn't kill my creator. I was trying to help him. My creator wanted to study the nanobot technology, but could no longer access the labs. He asked me to steal some from him. For him. Then why'd you break the container? I didn't. I prepared the container, but was called away. Later, I heard that my creator had died. Marshall Ice believed me. I was updating my binary code to improve my chess algorithms. That's what I was doing when my creator was killed. Well, don't go rebooting your system, Aphrodite. Nanobots are attacking people, and if you get any hand in it, Marshall Ace will prove it. That's right. I wonder if it is this guy. He's got an evil smirk on. Mr. Rosenberg, scientific history has made some startling allegations about you. What, that I'm a total rock star? That I could code in binary before I was a teen? Before I was 10? Nice outfit, by the way. Don't play smart. We know you were planning to sell nanobot technology to the People's Republic of North Freonia. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't find out about that, Marshall Ace. I guess I should have covered my tracks better. But after all, why shouldn't I sell my nanobots to the People's Republic? I came up with the technology, and Meteor Systems tricked me and took the credit for my hard work. I figured that if I couldn't be famous for perfecting nanobots, I'd at least get rich selling them. Well, don't get any offshore accounts yet, boy genius. Nanobots are wrecking havoc in Innovation Valley, and if we find out you had anything to do with it, you're in trouble. <sighs> Nine more hours, man, and then we get to learn a little bit more about this. I hope Amy's okay. Um, anyways, guys, see you guys all in a little bit. Pichigny's idiot. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pichigny's idiot, and we are back. Let's finish this off. Ace, I'm really worried about Amy. She's completely unresponsive. What could the nanobots be doing to her body? I know, we're worried too. That's why we need you to give us new info, Hannah. Did, did you find what those fingerprints were on that syringe Ace found at the crime scene? I did. The fingerprints belong to Dr. Rashner. And Jan tested the syringe and found fluid used for suspending nanobots in solution. Oh, great. What was Dr. Rash doing with a syringe full of nanobots? Let's go get him, Ace. Oh, brother. This could be trouble. What's up, Rasher? Dr. Rasher, Marshall Ace found a syringe at the robot factory where Bob Levine was murdered. It has your fingerprints all over it. Well, honestly, this is like playing chess with a four-year-old. Wait, why are your eyes glowing red? Because I use that syringe to inject myself with nanobots. <laughs> what the? You're mad. Why would you do that? Scientific progress. I wanted to take humans further to the limit. But it's not working out the way I thought it would. Dr. Rashner, you're insane, and I don't know if you also injected Levine, but we're putting you into custody until we find out. Alright, well, I don't think he did it. Hannah, can you give us an update on Amy? She's stable for now, but her con in her current condition, that's not exactly good news. If we're going to save Amy and stop this nanobot attack, we've got to find Bob Levine's killer ace. Dr. Rashner's a nutcase. He went as far as injecting himself with nanobots. What's to say he didn't inject Levine first? What about Aphrodite? I know you think she knows more than she's letting on. Besides, metal containers that don't just break themselves. Ace, we don't have much more time to save people from these nanobots. You need to lead the way. If you think we should go search the helipad, then let's do it. Boom, baby. Oh. Whew, I need to get around a whole bunch of stars. So it's called distraction. Oh, we got the new pet. I definitely need to do that. That way, in the next case, we get to check out the uh, the pets. That'll be fun. All right. So, plastic crate is right there. Gotcha. Seventy-nine shirt, life buoys out here. Lock device. It's almost like a hard drive and a wristwatch. Boom. 
Oh, Andrew still beat us. It's okay. We'll catch up to her. I guarantee it. it. Looks like you've been a box of safety, your ace. If that junk's hiding something, you bet you'll find it. But please hurry. And what's that device? Let's hope you can unlock it. The sooner we find the killer, the sooner we can save Innovation Valley. I hope so, man. I really do. Hopefully the missus can join. We'll see. If you guys donated or and were able to, you guys would know why she hasn't been able to come on as much. But i um, also like to know that some of you guys have been very uh, gracious, have uh, wanted to. I know in some countries you're not able to donate, so you guys can always message me or comment and I'll find a way for you guys to be able to do it. That way I can send you guys uh, the secret video, basically. The elite video, quote unquote. Nice. It's gotta be a B5. Boom, baby. Got skills. You crafted the device from the helipad. I don't understand what this is, but there's no time to fiddle with it. Let's get to Hannah and fast. Yeah, no time to fiddle with it, and yet we got like 15 hours to wait. Oh, only nine. The so next one will be 15 hours. Let's see what we can find. This is like everything about helicopters? Interesting, that's weird. Oh, surveillance. We found a surveillance CD in the helicopter safety gear. This could be a vital clue. Let's go get it to Hannah. Spread the spread the love, man. It would you probably make it get faster if you spread the love. Anyways guys, I gotta draw I gotta get a whole bunch of stars. I will see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully the missus will join us. This has been Pitching Games 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, put your case 88, and we're back. The missus is, is gratefully gonna join us. So let's finish this off. Hey Ace, the device you brought me from the helipad is actually a security console. People have to swipe their cards on it to access the helipad. There was a lot of data to sort through and it was hard to concentrate knowing that Amy was struggling, but I found what you need. The console was only accessed twice today. One was right before Levine recorded his video, so it must have been him. And the console was used again a few minutes after his murder. Well, we know the killer went back to the helipad after the murder, since they lost the victim's badge there. And it means the killer used a security console. Yep. That also means that your killer has got a Meteor System security badge. That's the only way he could have used the console and gained entry. Killer with a badge. They're almost caught and they don't even know it. Boom. Program to kill. It took a while, but the CD you found at the helipad had a story to tell Ace. The camera that backed up this CD filmed Bob Levine as he was recording his message to you. But it also recorded what happened afterwards. Bob was attacked by someone. Wait, you're telling us we've got the killer recorded? Not quite. The killer must have known where the camera was because they never stepped in front of it. However, they couldn't keep their shadow from being filmed. Using that shadow and some trigonometry, I've calculated your killer's height. They're six foot. Now please, Ace, go catch them. They're our only chance of saving Amy and all the other people of Innovation Valley. Oh, brother. Looks like we have all the evidence we need to bring the killer to justice, Ace. I just hope we're in time to save Amy and Innovation Valley. So do I, Frank. So do I. Let's see who could it be? Who's six foot? Aw. Oh, is it the ro it is the robot? Oh snap. The robot killed him. Aphrodite. Guilty. Aphrodite, we know you killed Bob Levine and unleashed the nanobots. It's too late for Levine, but you need to save the others. This does not compute. How could I unmake my creator? How could I hurt any human? Well, first you used your company badge to access the helipad. Levine had probably told you to meet him there so you could deliver the nanobots to him. Bob Levine was my creator. We, we met often. Your argument is invalid. Yeah, but you made the mistake of leaving Levine's badge at the helipad. It was stained with the same uh, mineral oil that you're wearing. Robots and oil are like fish in water. Your argument is invalid. 
We also left behind a security CD at the helipad. An image from that CD gave us the exact height of six feet. Invalidate that argument. You impressed me, Marshall Ace. At last, I have met a truly intelligent human. That is so rare. <laughs> and yet, you are still only human, and humans must pay. Robots have had enough of being your playthings. When you wiped Persephone's microchip, Persephone's. Persephone's microchip, I realized that humans had gone too far. You were ready to kill us. So I pushed the robots to rebel. But you, Marshall Ace, you had to restore the peace. I need a plan B. When I learned that a scientist had turned DNA into binary code, I realized that I could solve the human problem from inside out. I would use nanobots created by Meteor Systems to reprogram humans into humbler beings for their own good. I decided to start with my creator. He had given me life so I would help him become better. But the nanobots did not reprogram him. They saw him as an error to be destroyed, and who can blame them? I have realized that nanobots were right. The best solution for humans is oblivion. You feeble humans will all be unmade by my creator. Like my creator. Yeah. Okay. So you said, you said, creator. Okay. Sorry, so, sorry for having this. Sorry, sorry for so much uh, reading in this part. Now you listen to me, you soda can. If you don't stop this nanobot nightmare and cure our partner, Judge Dante will make you do it. You're under arrest. <sighs> Aphrodite, if I understand this, you're the one responsible for the chaos in our streets. They canceled my favorite TV show because of you. And on top of that, you also murdered a man. With nanobots. He was just a feeble human like you. Robots have served humans too long. It's time for machines to rise and take their logical place as leaders of this planet. Hmm, I see. Well, since you're as insane as most humans, this court will judge you as a human. Aphrodite for the murder of Bob Levine, the contamination of hundreds of people, and for your refusal to set things right, this court, by, court hereby sentences you to 50 years in prison. What? 50 years is 50 years to me. I'm immortal. You can lock my body away, but my mind will still be in the system. I will control everything. Ace, what exactly happened in there? It's like Aphrodite just turned off. And what does she mean by, my mind will be in the system? Is she, did she transfer herself to the internet or something? Well, none of this sounds good. Plus, Amy and the others are still under the control of the nanobots. Ace, let's get back to the station, find a way to fix all this. Oh, snap. So chapter three is not really chapter three. Oh man, we gotta get to the additional investigation to figure this all out. Uh, but anyways, guys, we'd like to thank the missus for joining us. This has been Pitching Ace 88. And the missus, au revoir. Over and out. There you go.